guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Fucks Given Crew. Sherry here from the Pucks Come Crew. How's it going? So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be selling my cards. So I'm going to be doing it privately. Um, and the way that I'm going to do it is actually the most expensive way to do it, which is to go through Staples. Um, so a guy named Cody is going to be printing these up for me, cutting them individually and packaging them for me. So um, just keep in mind, like I said, it's going to be the most expensive way to do it. So I think last year I paid $28 to have a deck printed. So that doesn't include the box, the instructions, and shipping and handling as well. So yeah, I'm not going to be making that much money on it, unfortunately. So, uh, But there seems to be a lot of towers happening right now. And so I'm kind of desperate at this point. Um, also, I wanted to say thank you to Kim for purchasing the deck, my original deck. Um, I have. Um, an example of the deck that I'm going to be selling except for it'll have the card description or the card names on the top and the numbers and stuff like that. Um, this deck doesn't have it so uh, and also paintings are still here so if anybody's interested that's Kurt Cobain, Chris Cornell and Scott Whelan there. Um, so you don't have to buy them all together. I, I'm happy to sell them individually so if you're interested let me know. Uh, my email is below. Uh, so for the the cards, um, there were quite a few people that were bidding on the original deck, so I'm so sorry you guys didn't get the deck, and I'm so like, oh my god, my heart is just full of love and appreciation and gratitude for, for you guys bidding on the cards in the first place, that just, uh, it gave me so much confidence, and um, yeah, thank you guys. So you guys will have the, f the first um, decks. Um, and anybody who contacted me through email as well, I'm happy to give you guys first choice as well. So I'm thinking of selling the decks for about $100. Uh, like I said, I'm not going to be making much on it for, you know, once everything's all said and done. So yeah, let me know. Email should be below. And I love you guys and enjoy this week's Twin Flame reading. Okay, cheers. Bye. Hi ladies. So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading for, um, January the 30th until February the 9th. So I'm going to do a split elemental reading. I want to try and keep it short because the Twin Flame reading was super long and hopefully we won't have any interruptions. Um, I got rid of a lot of stuff on my, my phone so hopefully we'll make it through the reading. Okay, so I'm using Dorian Virtue Romance Angels. So I'm going to pull the cards and then we'll go through the positions. And the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, the bottom of the deck <clears throat> says attraction. You attract romance, sorry, romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, overall energy, the feminine is um, sending off positive vibrations, um, feeling really good about herself, feeling like she loves herself that you know that was reflected in the twin flame reading as well with that sense of independence um, desiring her independence or freedom um, moving in a direction that's more positive for her what she you know um, she wants to do what she loves okay so that is the overall energy so let's move on to the soul romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so more romantic energy. Her soul um, is exuding love. Um, she may be flirting. She may be, um, you know, just in this very vibrant, um, loving energy is what I'm feeling from that. So I'm just going to pull one card as a clarifier. Do I have these upside down? Okay, so the Seven of Wands was actually a card that showed up from the universe. Um, so the seven, of, or sorry, this is the six of wands, actually. Um, so 
the seven of wands came from the universe. Um, I think the three of wands was what she was afraid of. So there's a lot of fiery energy, okay? So her soul is alive. She feels successful. She feels like, you know, um, she has encouragement. Um, people are cheering her on. She's on the right path. That was another repeated theme. And she's feeling romantic. And yeah, when you send out that beautiful energy, it comes back to you. Uh, so what is in the emotion um, position? Past life relationships. You've known each other before. So emotionally, um, she's thinking about a relationship in the past. Um, a desire to connect with the masculine. To reignite a relationship perhaps seven or sorry the night of fire more fire energy so this is a directed energy towards that goal towards what you want um so there was a feeling that the feminine needs to let something go in order to find her freedom so emotionally maybe she doesn't want to let go of something and but she's, it's like she's feeling a calling or hearing a calling to her. So emotionally, there's still a connection with somebody from the past, and it could be the twin flame connection. Mentally, what's happening? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay, so mentally, she's thinking about her family. Um, she... She wants everybody to be happy. Maybe there's conflict happening in her life. The King of Pentacles. So this is a father figure. This is somebody who looks after the family financially. So maybe perhaps she's wondering how... Um, or maybe she's really focused on the family as the King of Pentacles. Um, and this could very be very well be like the, the father figure element in her life that is impacting her and um you know it's almost like she wants to reach out to this person um, or vice versa but mentally she's consumed with thoughts of of healing it um something and remember in the resisting position for the twin flame reading um Again, Spirit was encouraging her to heal. Okay, so this is in the spiritual new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Uh, so this could be a brand new person or it could be a new start in a relationship. So spiritually, um, she is surrounded by love and spiritually being drawn towards this new connection or a new start. Third eye chakra, she's using her intuition, she's going within, and the vision that she sees is this brand new beginning, a new start. And she, like I said, she's being drawn, divinely guided, um, and highly encouraged to move forward. Okay, so this is a 3D. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive uh, the highest energy of all. So what I'm getting with this is a repeated theme over and over again in the Twin Flame reading was, don't worry, your treasure is being protected. You are being protected. Um, so in the 3D, you know, this is all also talking about love. It is safe to love. Okay, open your heart. So the 3D, she's struggling with the ability to open up or she is giving it a chance. Let's see. There's that Five of Pentacles again. So this showed up in the external environment for the Twin Flame reading. Um, so again, this is feeling alone, feeling disconnected, feeling like you have no help. So in the 3D, she she feels um, abandoned on some level. And so that may be causing her to question whether or not she should open up her heart or something is causing her to kind of close down a little bit. So the overall energy is exuding this romantic energy and, you know, 
using the law of attraction to bring beautiful things into your life. Um, you're being called to move in a new direction to uh, pursue something that will make you happy and um, emotionally fulfilled. And it could also be a new relationship, but your higher self is really telling you to to go for it. Um, you're being encouraged, um, and it is safe to love. Okay, so there is some family issues that are pulling on the feminine. She's worried about money, um, but there is this fire that's really stirring within her, uh, and she needs to disconnect and move forward. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from the message from the universe. So this is Miss and Mermaids. That one already, okay. Mermaid with floating flowers. Okay, so when the temporal blooms strewn reverently across my heart are my only signs of triumph, it makes me wonder, really wonder whether they were childish whims or solemn from the start. So an intense mermaid lies in her pool or her pond, hiding behind offerings of a beautiful flower strewn in her watery realm. She's resistant to the accolades and distrustful of her admirers, despite their authenticity and sincerity. There you go, there's that mistrust. Remember all that glitter glitter in the past? So the message is, you will soon be honored and recognized. And that's what that Six of Wands is as well. It's being recognized. Uh, your accomplishments will soon be acknowledged. There is no need to be shy. You have earned the acclaim and deserve to be recognized. You may feel the need to question the rewards or the motives of those who seek to recognize you for what you have done. But don't worry, the attention is genuine. The steam is sincere. You have accomplished a great deal in the past that was never recognized. This explains your reluctance to accept the goodwill of your well-wishers now. But now is a time to open yourself up to the praise and allow, to, to, uh, allow it to heal the part of you that has been neglected so long. Embrace being a success, a hero, or the award winner without letting it embarrass you or go to your head. Well, maybe just a little bit. That's awesome. So rewards are coming to the feminine. Again, you're protected. Okay, so this is a beautiful message. I hope it helps somebody out there. All right, love ya.